Hello everybody, if you have an external hard drive that is connected to your MacBook but it's not searching any files using Spotlight Search and also Finder, then this video is for you. We're gonna go for a quick solution. If I show you my hard drive, that is here SSD and it has lots of folders and it's 4 terabyte hard drive. If I search anything, I found and you will see that it is searching all the folders. Before it was not. And I can also search using Spotlight. And you can see it's indexing. It didn't complete, but it still searches so many things. So let's get out of this place. What you need to do on your Mac OS, go to setting. I'm using the latest version Tahoe. So if you have an older version, you can go to Spotlight and Siri. In my case, it is located under Spotlight. Go all the way down and you will see search privacy. By the way, if you check mark all these things, then your MacBook will search everything related to these things. For example, Excel file, notes, OneDrive, phone. But if you want to prevent your MacBook from searching any of the, these files, you can uncheck this one. For example, voice memo. During the spotlight search or finder search, you don't want your MacBook to search anything related to voice memos. You can turn it off or simply turn on these toggles, all of them, if you want to search every kind of file. Then go to search and privacy. So here we go. We have to first of all prevent our MacBook from searching any file. Then we need to add it again. All right, go to plus icon. And here is my T9 SSD. You can also see that this one is here. Just click once and choose it. Now you already prevented. It will not search anything now. What you need to do, just remove this one. I don't know why it's so stupid, but Mac OS system is working like that. Now, just go to this one and remove it. Done. Now, your searches are completely fine. I just searched screen recorder and it is showing me so many files related to screen recorder. So this is how you can do that. If you want to use terminal command for the same things, because sometimes it's hectic to follow the setting and go step by step, you can also use terminal command just for one or two click solution. Then watch this video. And if you want to learn more, watch this video as well. See you around. Bye.